chugga 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 choo choo! Oh, I just derailed! What the heck? <laughs> I derailed, but then I just railed again! Hey everyone, it's Cupquake. Today I wanted to show you guys a really awesome mod, really in-depth mod. This is called Traincraft, and this was formerly known as Trans and Zeppelin mod, but Mr. Brutal has decided to update and develop this mod the best he can. This is the dev version, so it's kind of buggy. It's not complete, but uh, there is a lot of stuff with this mod. So this mod adds more than 80 trains, wagons, and other moving vehicles to your Minecraft game. Just to give you guys a perspective, this is all the stuff that has been added. Most of, most of the stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with. Um, Let's just start with the two new blocks that have been added. Oil sands, and this is crude oil. They both spawn naturally in the world and are mineable. Uh, there are four new train tracks that have been added, which are locomotive detectors, passenger detectors, freight detectors, and a coupler. These three detectors detect uh, either passenger, locomotive, or freight that moves over it. And this coupler actually attaches or detaches um, the stuff from the trains. So I'm gonna get a little more into detail with that in just a second, but I'm gonna show you guys some recipes. Before I do, I wanted to show you guys these three workbenches that have been added. So uh, I really haven't figured these out. I don't know if they're complete. I know that there's items that you can build that fit into these, but I just can't find this one item, which is the component. So I'm not sure. Uh, entirely what it does. So this is the Iron Age, the next one is the Steel Age, and the last one is the Advanced Age. So I'm assuming this is going to have to do with building the trains. Um, also before we get into the really fun stuff, let's go ahead and look at some recipes. So uh, to craft this stuff called coal dust, it uses four coal and you get four coal dust. Using the coal dust, you uh, and a clay in the center, you will get graphite. Sorry, I forgot to move that there. Uh, with iron ingots and a graphite, you then get steel dust. And with smelting steel dust, you get steel. So steel is really important and you use it for making every single train uh, part. Uh, so here are some wheels. Here's the recipe for the wheels. This is a steak or as I like to call it, a coupler. Um, here is the steel frame and there's the recipe and a steel cap. So these are some of the recipes, the general recipes. I'm going to get into some of the trains now. There are three types of trains. There is steam, diesel, and advanced or speed trains. Let's go ahead and cover the steam trains first. Uh, there are some recipes here. I'll show you guys the trains in just a second. So. In order to create a, a steam chain, train, you're going to need a steel chimney, a boiler, which is crafted like so, and a firebox. So this is the recipe to create a steam locomotive. So this is the recipe for this actual train. So this fly over here. Here are all of the steam engine trains, and you can actually right click and you are now inside the train. There's some stuff that you need to do before you actually ride the train and it's, it's movable, but I will go over that later. There's one thing that I wanted to show you guys. So this is called a track builder. What this does is it actually helps you build tracks. So in order to operate this machinery here, you're going to need coal, railroads, some sort of block, and iron ingots. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click it and it brings us into this GUI. We're going to place the coal in the coal section. Uh, this seems a little intimidating at first, but it's pretty simple. There are some buttons up here. You can toggle which uh, what you want your machine to do. So, so I want it to follow tracks. You can actually have it remove tracks if you like. This two blocks under or one block under is actually um, referencing to this spot here. So this is the actual tracks builder and this is the blocks that are going to go under. So I'm going to choose one block under and I'm going to put bricks down there and then you're going to place in your railroads so that your machinery doesn't run out of railroads and you can choose to put something above as well. So all we need to do is place in these iron ingots and it is going to build the track for us. So it's going to move. I don't know why it's some 
kind of glitchy. Um, it should only be facing in one direction. But you see this thing right here? This is a drill. So if we come across, um, I don't know, a mountain, this will drill through the mountain and create some train tracks, some railroad tracks for us to go through. So that is a really cool uh, feature that is added into this. It is still a bit glitchy. I wish it wasn't glitching out like this. It should be smooth like so, but that's all right. Uh, but now I can go ahead and show you guys the diesel trains. So these are the diesel trains right here. <laughs> Why are the trains flipping around like that? So these are some of the diesel trains. Same thing with the steam trains. You can right click, get inside. They do look a little bit different, but they are empty on fuel. Uh, oh, one thing that is different about the diesel trains from the steam train is that it does need fuel to run on. Before I get into that, let's get into a recipe. So uh, we need to create a different engine for this type of train. So here are the recipes for the cylinder, the pistons, and the camshafts. So those are all used, placed like this, to create a diesel engine. And if we go here, we can see this is how we craft um, a diesel train, diesel locomotive. And this one right here is a distill. Uh, here's the recipe for it as well. I have it right here on the side and this is what we are going to use to create uh, diesel canisters. And I need to grab some sugar because we are going to use sugar cane. So sugar cane, uh, when in the distill tower, turns into diesel canister. So that is how we make our diesel fuel. Let me go ahead show you guys there. There is our diesel canister. So the last type of trains that I wanted to show you guys, I don't know why these ones are deciding to glitch out, but this is the high locomotive speed. And there's one component that's different about these than, it, than the rest of the, or the other two. And it needs an electric motor. So here's the recipe for that. Yes, these are iron ingots and redstone. And this is what a uh, recipe looks like for one of the trains. You can see there are many types of trains. I wish they weren't moving like this, but like I said before, this is uh, this is still a dev's uh, version, so it's a little bit glitchy. Actually, if I move on this side, they won't, they won't uh, be glitchy. So besides these types of trains, these three types of trains, there's a ton of other attachments that we can attach and that will come in very handy and very useful. These are different carts. So each cart has a different purpose, like this one right here. Uh, you right click it, you can transport all sorts of logs. Uh, there's different uh, textures, so here's a different type of log transportation and one back here as well. Uh, these are different cargo transport. I think this one is called a mail transport and I think this is absolutely adorable with these tiny little chests. And um, let's see, what else is there? Another one that I think is really cool is this jukebox one. We can transport our, our discs. So if we had a disc, we can place them inside. We can't right click it though. Uh, this one right here will tell or transport our our livestock. So all you need to do is just run over your livestock with this um, livestock transporter and they will get stuck inside. So you can see, oh, hey, you're not stuck inside. Let's get you inside there, buddy. Get inside there. Are you not, are you not entertained? I think he's bugged. He is definitely bugged. Uh, other than this, these carts right here, we have some passenger carts. So these ones, you are able to sit on these and become a passenger on the train and uh, it, you will move along with the train if you are attached, um, if you couple it. But these are designated passenger carts, which are pretty adorable. You can right click them and be inside like a passenger. Uh, this one in particular is pretty cool because if you right click it, I don't know why for some reason it's not letting me right click it, but you will sit down on this and you are able to craft while you are riding. So I thought that was a really cool feature. Also, there are these other items right here that can be attached. These are tenders, so if you right click these, you will be able to place in water, coal, uh, different type of things items for your train and last but not least um, well not last but not least these different types of tanks so if you right click 
Can we right click inside of them? What is going on? Why can't I right click? All right, so I just restarted. Uh, it is a little glitchy, a little buggy, like I said before, but if you right click the tanker, you can then transport different type of fuel. Um, also the caboose. There are different types of caboose, which are the end of the train. You can also ride along in these. So those are all of the different types of cargo. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use the actual train. So I have set up here all three types of trains, the steam, the diesel and the speed automotive or um, what is it locomotive uh, let's go ahead and click inside here I'm going to use this item called a stake so this is going to help me attach different items to my train which is really awesome so you can customize um, your train however you like so I'm going to place down this tender this is a tiny little tender and what I'm going to do is just uh, no, don't roll away. Don't, don't roll away. We're going to right click the tender. So attach mode on for 747. And we're going to right click this train here. Attach mode on. All we have left to do is make sure that the ends, ends touch together. And they will become attached. So you can attach as many things as you like. Uh, you can really customize it depending on uh, what you are transporting. Which I think is really awesome. So attach mode on, let's go ahead and push that there, and now it's attached. So I think that's a really awesome. It can be as big as you want it to be, it can be as long as you want it to be, but remember that uh, trains do overheat, and the length of the actual train will affect the speed of the train. So I'm going to grab this water here. Let's go ahead and place this back. I'm gonna grab this water and this coal, because since we are running a steam, a locomotive we need water and coal to run on it something cool really quick you can right click on this and this acts as another tank for the locomotive so it's a tender all you need to do is place in your bucket there and you can see uh, your water starts to fill up right there so I'm going to you can also store buckets of water in here uh, and coal as well if if you would like to travel far distances. So let's go ahead and right click this automotive, go inside, and um, I'm going to press R to open up the GUI. This tank is already full, so uh, I think I took it for a spin before this recording. Uh, so what you would do the same thing is place in your water right there, it'll empty your bucket. We can even place these in here, and I am going to place coal in here. So now this train is ready to go. So let's get out of this view and we're going to press W to go forward and you can see our train is now moving. So if there are animals on your tracks like there was just there, don't worry. The trains will actually knock them out of the way like they should. It won't mess up your whole train system. Um, I wish I could show you guys the back of it, but depending on which way my cursor is pointing, depends on which way the train will move. So I am going to jump ship right now. Whoa, we just exit out of that train and it will continue to go. So it's going to continue to go. And I am going to, I'm not gonna attach anything to these ones uh, cause you guys have already seen me do that. So for the diesel, of course, you're going to need diesel fuel along with, uh, actually I don't think you need coal for this. So let's go ahead, right click, press R. Now we can fill up the tank. So the tank is full. We can store extra diesel fuel in here if we like. And let's get a different view and we are ready to go. So we press W and we start to increase uh, speed. So there we go. We're starting to increase some speed here. This one's pretty slow, but I think with the diesel trains, some are faster than others. I am not entirely sure, but you guys can see that the heat is starting to rise. So like I said before, these trains do overheat. They will overheat if you are going up a steep mountain and it's very strenuous on that little engine, the poor little engine that could. Um, you can also overheat if your train doesn't have enough water. So let's go ahead and jump ship on this one. And I'm going to show you guys the very last one, which is the uh, advanced fast locomotive so this one actually runs on redstone since it is I guess battery operated let's right click 
press R when we are in the cockpit and place our redstone in there. We are we now have power. We now have energy. So we can escape this. And let's change our view and we can press W. Now this one goes very fast. You guys can see I'm already 146 kilometers. Oh well, we're punting that poor, poor little piggy. Uh, I am not sure if the trains derail. I heard that they do derail. I would assume on the corners that if you take them too quickly, they will derail. Uh, maybe if I had some more cargo, it might. But that is the speed train. So let me jump out of this. All right. Uh, don't tell me. My train derailed. We crashed it. So they do derail. Uh, I escaped that catastrophe right on time. So the last thing I want to show you, and I'm going to set, oh, well, the sun is rising, so we don't have to set the time. The last thing I want to show you is this ginormous thing right here. This is called a Zeppelin. So let's go ahead and look inside. Here are some of the recipes for these Zeppelins. So we need a balloon. This is created with wool. We also need propellers. These are created with wool and steel. And we also need an engine, a steam engine, which is created with a firebox, boiler, and steel chimney. And this is the actual recipe for the Zeppelin. So two balloons, two sticks, your steam engine, one boat, and two propellers. So that gives us the Zeppelin right there. And this is awesome. You can right click inside. Or actually, I think we need, I think we do need coal. So let me grab some. Where is my coal? Here it is. All right, so let's right click, 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 what, what, press R. All right, we're gonna place our coal in there. You can see the steam is now heating up. Whatever direction our mouse is pointing is the direction that we're going to go. So I am pointing up. We are now floating up in the air and I'm not pressing any directional keys yet, but say you do want to travel off into the sunset, you will just press W to go forward. Uh, I think the keys are as same as, as your walking keys, so W, A, S, D to move. It is a little bit difficult to control in the beginning, but I think this is very awesome, and it is a ton of fun, and it is a very awesome way to travel in style. So I'm gonna try to land this. Whoa, it looks like I'm crash landing. No, don't crash land. All right, let's land on the side. So there you guys have it. That is Traincraft. Uh, it is still in development and there is still a lot of stuff being added to it. I think this is a really awesome mod. It is probably the most techiest mod that I've ever tried and done a mod review for. This is also compatible with Industrial Craft Squared, I think is what it's called. So uh, it is really awesome. I hope you guys found this helpful and try this out yourself. Even though it is a little bit buggy, it's still a lot of fun to mess around with the trains. Although I know nothing about trains, I found this very interesting, very fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to rate the video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe, 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 a subscribe, a dive. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupquake, and I will see you all later.